it's a blessing to be in this position, you know, to be able to lead tonight and play one of the most famous city in America is one of the things I can scratch off my bucket list finally, you know, it's just a blessing to be a part of that. And yes, I'm expecting more of it. And at the end of the day, it's still basketball, so I still got to play hard and compete, play the best of my ability, which I know I can. And so I don't want to make it bigger than what it is, but yes, I'm expecting more of it. I think I'll be ready. Um, I just remember my mindset being through the end of my freshman year, just be dependable, just be dependable. Uh, just to make sure that I did my job defensively, never let my guy get an offensive rebound, uh, finish my open layups when I get him, capitalize on my free throws when I have those opportunities. But I just remember my freshman year, I was just like, okay, be dependable, be dependable. And with that, having that mindset, uh, I didn't really think about, oh man, coaches put me in a lot more. I just kind of was like, okay, just do your job, do your job. And uh, when we did play Madison Square Garden, I didn't realize I played, I want to say, like 15 minutes both games that I played there. What was that experience like for you? It was great uh, playing at the Mecca basketball. You don't really realize it when you're in it, but like when you get to say that you played there, it's unbelievable. Uh, the arena, is it feels smaller when you're on the court, but like when you just kind of look at the stadium and the seats, it's a lot bigger. Um, so, I mean, from the Final Four experience uh, to being an underdog in, in most games, so in the tournament and previous games before that, you know, to a role now, I mean, we, we're, we're, we got the target on our back, and I don't want to say we lost that underdog mentality, but we're, we're, uh, we're just looking at, we looked at as prey, you know, you know, where predators are coming after us, and we got to get everybody's best shot, and I mean, it's not the, we don't want to approach it differently, we want to continue to have that underdog mindset. But um, it's just, it's different expectations from everybody, but I think it's the same mindset as far as, you know what we got to do to win. Aaron, you debuted in this game last year against Kansas. What can you tell Rocket and Malik and Julius about starting on this stage? Um, you know, being a being a freshman playing, and, and uh, it was different for me. I was in front of my front of my family in my hometown. The Indianapolis was ten minutes from my house, but I mean, any anything I can pass to them is. I mean, it's going to be a lot more fans, a lot more expectations, a lot louder. You know, it's going to be a bigger stage. I mean, we're still playing basketball. I mean, you can't make it bigger than what it is. You know, you got to lock in and focus. It's, you've been through harder things with coaches and practice and what you're going to go through in the game. You know, it's just that he's been preparing you for this moment. And so we just how hard we've been going with each other. And just just keep it basketball and you'll be fine. I'll make something bigger than what it is. Uh, I think they'll be fine only because we've been practicing against each other for so long that I think they're just ready to see somebody else. Uh, Garden Julius, going back and forth with Julius for the last four weeks now, Malik, Marky, uh, Thomas, we've just been battling for a while now. So I think they'll all just be excited just to play somebody new. Coach kind of harped on you during that Albion game a little bit um, after he said, um, you know, he expected a little bit more, but what have you done this this past week to, you know, really prepare and up that game for for Albion? Um, what have I done this past week to, you know, really prepare and up that game for Kentucky? Uh, I mean, any kind of this week, we, we've talked since that game and the means that we've had is just been, you know, just slow down. Just, I mean, you've been practicing all even you've made such big jumps. You know, just let the game come in. You don't force anything. Like, we all know you're ready. You know, just, just relax and just let the game come to me. You know, like, not, like I said, like make it bigger than what it is. What does Kyle add to the rotation for you guys on the perimeter when he's in there and healthy? Uh, the biggest thing will be experience. You know, not to mention his game at all. Which is he understands the game so well, especially at this level. He's like a since he's been there for so long, he's got almost the same mindset of, of coaches and what he, and what he wants to do with us defensively and offensively. So just that experience being out there and what he brings as far as shooting, you know, and also as what's well being in, in in good uh, position on defenses, on the ball and off the ball. But the most important thing I would say is experience. You know, he can do a lot of great things as we saw. He can make game winning dunks like he did at Florida last year or he could be just an inspiration to us just with how he just is so emotional with how he plays the game. It's all momentum shifters with him and he can impact the game off the score sheet or on the score sheet.